Greetings, Highlanders. Uh, today, hopefully, um, I can show you how to uh, utilize your iPad while in a Zoom chat with your fellow students. So uh, first, please uh, make sure that you are uh, you have Zoom and that you followed the instructions uh, already provided on setting up your account. All right, so I am going to see if I can make it over here. Perfect. So I'm going to start a new meeting. All right, and for the sake of screen casting this to make sure that things are not being overlapped, I've paused the video in Zoom, but if you are with a student, always make sure that the recording is um, present as well as notify them verbally that they are being recorded. Now, um, step number one, sign in uh, using Zoom through the instructions provided in the previous emails. Uh, step number two, uh, please make sure that you have Zoom downloaded to your iPad. Okay, so when you go to Zoom, uh, when you go to the iPad App Store, there will be several Zoom icons. Just make sure that it is the same icon um, that you'll see on your on your MacBook. Okay, so you're going to go down to the very uh, center screen where it says Share Your Screen and click the up arrow. Oops, sorry, just click Share Screen. It's going to have all of these screens popped up. Uh, I'm not going to have them uh, click on my mail uh, or anything else. Um, the interactive whiteboard. Um, let's let's see this for just a second. Now there is a roundabout way to use your iPad with the interactive whiteboard. Uh, however, um, I feel like if you just use a whiteboard on your iPad, it'll be a lot more useful. Okay, so we're going to exit out of that. Going to go back to sharing screen. And then we're going to have uh, we're going to go to uh, iPad via AirPlay, and what AirPlay means is that they're going to connect via Wi-Fi. So we're going to uh, click on this and click Share. Then you're going to follow the prompt. So uh, you're going to connect uh, first to make sure that you have before before you do this actually, make sure that you have Zoom downloaded on your um, iPad and that um, you currently have. Um, you're able to the point where you're able to log in. All right. Now, you're going to follow these instructions. Number one, make sure that the Wi-Fi on your computer or your MacBook Air is the same Wi-Fi as your iPad. Then, this is kind of tricky because if you have an older iPad, you just have to pull through the center or, or swipe up. It's actually in the top right. Okay, you have to hit the top right um, where that battery symbol is, and that's when you're going to get this swipe down function. Okay, so uh, you're going to find where you're going to have that overlapping rectangle, and I'm going to click on that overlapping rectangle, click screen, uh, screen mirroring. Then I'm going to pick, um, if you have an Apple TV, obviously you're, um, you're going to not pick that, but you're going to pick the, uh, the MacBook Air, and now I should have, if I've done this correctly, voila, okay. I like to do a uh, portrait mode and I'm picking up my blue pen, not my white pen. And now I'm able to uh, click on um, everything on my screen here. And it looks like there's a little bit of delay Perhaps because I'm screencasting at the mo at, uh, simultaneously. So, um, as you can see, this screen in which I'm moving around, if hopefully you can see it, is uh, the Zoom chat box. Okay, and the reason why you may see two two of myself uh, two pictures of myself is because at the very bottom, I have Screencastify going, and now I've got Zoom going as well. So this is a great way because the students can still see your face, and then um, they can also um, see your digital pen. So as I'm writing, okay, it should see uh, that I'm uh, that writing as well. And I think there's a delay just because of the fact that um, I have two different programs going on. I've got the Screencastify. And I have um, Zoom going on as well. But we just had a, a, a meeting, and I was able to do it with my uh, my participants. 
um, and it was it streamed perfect. Now the great thing about this is when you go through Zoom, is that you can see your face, and you can toggle, okay, and uh, between web pages and uh, your interactive uh, notebook. Okay, so again. I can talk about something and then I can uh, discuss gas laws and then I can go back to explain everything. If I want to make up um, a new page, I can do so. All right. So there looks like there's a little bit of delay going on right now. Um, but as it catches up, you'll see that I toggled between uh, your web page and the, ex the app explain everything. And again, explain everything is is wonderful at um, creating your whiteboard. And this is what you probably should use versus the whiteboard in Zoom uh, because of the fact that now you can use your pen and your iPad, okay? I hope this has helped. Um, oh, one last thing. Um, please make sure that um, all of your notifications are um, turned off. So you may want to, um, on your iPad, so you don't want um, personal emails popping up on your iPad while you're teaching students. So something to think about. I hope this is helpful. Cheers, everybody. Go Highlanders.